Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Can, and together we can game. In the last episode of Can Play Kingdom Hearts 1, we made our way to Traverse Town. This episode we're going to talk to some people here. People with nowhere else to turn, come to this town. Where am I from? None of your business. Don't ask that question here. Everyone's got an unhappy past. Something that's kind of interesting to think about. Notice this treasure here? We can examine. It will not open. There must be some secret to opening it. That's why you always should examine something interesting every time. These symbols, we keep seeing them around. Keep in mind. Now, let's go ahead and talk. I keep seeing new faces. Today, an odd pair walked by just a little while ago. Seeing all of this town will take some time, Koopo, especially for newcomers. Even if you can't go to certain areas now, you'll be able to go later. Just some world building as we explore. What do you have to say? This town is divided into three districts. This is the first district. Thanks for telling us. Seems to be some mail. Mailbox, send 10 postcards to win something. Good luck. Good to know that we'll need postcards. Can't seem to attack that. Let's see what happens if we go into the item shop. We have Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I'm in charge of keeping this shop clean. It's easier than our bedroom. We're gonna earn enough money here to go on our own adventure. Welcome. Are you looking to buy or maybe you have something to sell? Let's chat. I handpicked everything on these shelves. We carry only the best. Let's see what you got to sell. I wanna buy. Now, we have a normal potion, heals 30 health points. We have a high potion, heals 60, ether 3 MP, and fully restores a party's HP used from the menu. We have no money, so there's not much we can do. We can sell, we can go to stock, we have the pretty stone. We have two of them, we can sell them if we want. We have some money. If we want, we can go ahead and buy. Let's go ahead and buy a potion, but instead of stock, we'll put it on Sora. There is a difference between putting it in stock and putting it on Sora. If we put it on Sora, if we go to the items here, he immediately has access to use it. We can also go to the first district through here. Another way to get to the shop just helps us see another part of Traverse Town. If we go into the accessory shop, we'll see some more stuff. Hey there, how can I? Ah, uh, it's only a kid. I'm not a kid, and the name's Sora. Okay, okay, simmer down. So, why the long face, Sora? You lost or something? No, well, maybe. Where are we? Huh? Traverse Town? So, Gramps, is this really another world? Don't call me Gramps! The name's Sid. Anyway, not sure what you're really talking about, but sure, ain't your island. Hmm, guess I better start looking for Riku and Kairi. Well, good luck with whatever it is you're doing. If you ever run into trouble, you come to me. I'll look out for you. Thanks, Sid. Another treasure box. Can we open it? Yes, we can. Obtained a mithril shard. You can explore early on. Again, another one of those symbols. We can examine. There are traces of a fire. We have our first heal zone in Traverse Town as well as some nice collectibles. I always loved looking at the shop here, looking at the rings, looking at the tree, just, you know, getting a chance to kind of get a bitter sense of the world. Always love the crown. And of course we can examine attention customers. You can only synthesize items like this on our second floor, Koopo. Wow, a crystal. Again, a cool little bit of world building. You have more rings. And of course I mentioned the second floor. Right now we can't get up to it. So we're gonna go back out to the first district. So I feel we're doing a good job talking to some of the people here. Can't go in this way, so we're just gonna have to keep going where we need to go. Also, can we just appreciate how Donald and Goofy would have almost found it if they just would have listened to Goofy and followed Pluto? This is the item workshop, Koopo. We're researching item synthesis and super weapon forging. That is important. You'll need money if you wanna buy items. No matter where you got, you go, money talks. I mean that. Ain't that the truth? Now, look at that. A keyhole. Looks like it's locked. I always thought it was a little funny growing up that we have this giant key and we couldn't open that. It's just my two cents. Let's go to the second district.
It was that guy from earlier. And these shadow creatures we keep seeing. It's the creatures from the island. And in our dream, or at least what we thought was a dream. Now, one of the main mechanics is going to be this hack and slash with the Keyblade. Now, that scene, we saw that guy earlier when we were talking to people. I know there are some people when I tell them you actually get to meet that guy before he unfortunately meets his untimely demise. They're always surprised because it's such a minor detail, but that's why I talked to that guy earlier in the video. If you didn't notice it, let me know, but if you did, I am glad you did. Glad you got that sharp eye. Again, the more you keep looking, the better it'll be for you. So, we've taken out all those creatures. Let's get this money. Back to the soothing theme. And even the shops, you know, they have their own purpose. I do like going into first person. I like getting to see a little bit of this world. If you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to the boots and shoes awning here. I see where it is. Come on. Come on, Sora. We can maybe do this. I think you can. I can just be bad at it. It looks like the ladder. There we are. Open. Postcard. Well, you know what? The mail did say if we find 10, we'll get something big. That is important to note. Can we go in the hotel? We could. We can also fight these here. These shadow creatures from the island. We do need to figure out what they're here for and what we can do. Now, interesting enough, when we get to what these are, I have some thoughts, especially with the final mix version. Let's go in the hotel here, see if there's any more we can find. Staff only, can't go this way. You know, they talk about postcards and we have guides. We have currently closed off. I believe most of them, if not all, are currently closed off. But it's important to remember this hotel. We'll come back to it. And actually, I think I saw something that lets me examine. Doesn't look like he's here. Keep looking. We keep missing. Examine. Midsummer Dawn. So there was an examine. But I did go back. But we keep missing them. So we have boots and shoes. We have another shop, and again, the shops are filled with both Disney and other fun Easter eggs, so if you know, you know. I always love that aspect of Kingdom Hearts. I'm a huge Disney buff. If you couldn't tell by the Mickey impression in the other episode, I really enjoy Disney. I thought this growing up was so cool. And as we keep going on, you'll see more. Some suits, some dresses from Suits and Dresses. But. We are not done. We got to use this Keyblade, as we've been told, on our home island of Destiny Island. We got to see if we can find anyone that knows what's going on. But as we're doing this, Donald and Goofy are looking for the key. So we have a key. Pretty sure we're what they're looking for. Nothing this way. What about this way? Dalmatian's house. As we go in, not here either. This could take us a while. We keep missing them. The 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of their world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. So, poor Pongo and Perdita have nothing here. We need to find their puppies. This is actually one of my favorite things. One of my favorite areas is just getting to look at, you know, the 101 Dalmatian puppies. Now, don't worry, we don't have to find 101. It'll kind of explain itself as we go on, but I love walking through their home, just seeing this and, you know, seeing how empty it is now. It's really sad. There's 101 puppies and of course their owners are supposed to be here. So as we walk through, we see kind of what this home is without him. Some of the impact of what Sora needs to do. I love that. I really see that Sora is not the only one affected here. Other worlds are getting destroyed. We heard Jiminy mention his. We heard Donald and Goofy talk about the star that went out, and that was Destiny Islands. So it's really affecting a lot of people, whatever is happening here. And it's up to us to figure it out. Good thing we knew how to throw around a sword. And look, that mysterious symbol once again. Again, we want to note all of them as we see them. They're going to be important. Taking out the shadow creatures. They keep spawning. But luckily, seems that if they're going to keep dropping health, we can handle them. Again, we don't have a name for them. But whatever happened to that guy earlier where he faded away, it looked like he died. 
his heart, it went into the darkness. Keep that image in your head, folks. Now the hotel, we thought it was closed, but it seems like there's more. There's a caution sign. You can actually read the signs, I believe. One of these shadow creatures again. Come on. There we go. Nope. All right. We can climb. Or we can try anyway. So it seems like this is the back of the hotel. Currently closed off. But you know what isn't closed off? Whatever this chest is, let's go ahead and open it. Potion. Again, we bought one, but still getting a lot of help as we go. So we can see how they're currently closed off. We can see kind of the ramification or effects that happens just by looking and exploring. Nothing we can do here. Just another side of this hotel. Come on. Saw there is a chest there. Come on. And also these shadow creatures. If there's enemy in your way, there's usually the direction the game wants you to go. If it's a tough road ahead, that's usually the road worth going down. And of course, you might think, sometimes you'll think you're out of it, but they will be from above, so you gotta look up. In fact, if you're ever in a Disney park or anything, that's one of the things you should always keep in mind. Always do your best to look up. You never know what'll be in the area. Again, the more uh, potions I get, the more I'm starting to think I misspanded my money. Misspent? Misspanded? I don't know why I went all country on me. Uh, maybe it's because when I played this, I was a much younger kid. I was probably... Seven or eight, actually, when I first played Kingdom Hearts, and it's something super nostalgic. That and the Disney movies, it plays on it. We have the pretty stone. That was worth getting. Can't go that way, but there is a chest that way. Can we go here? Back to the second district. So now we're on the ground floor of what we saw earlier. We keep getting lucid shards. Every unique creature will drop something such as the shards. We'll cover them later as we figure out even what they are. Now, as we are here, notice how they're dropping more money than maybe health. Now, on the harder difficulty, you'll probably be able to tell what happens less and less. And if you're playing on easier difficulty, this still can be a pretty challenging game. I've actually found out that some people find even the easy mode challenging, so I'm curious. But. You know, maybe we should follow where Donald and Goofy went. So, last time, we saw them kind of go over here to wherever this is. Now, we can keep fighting or we can run inside. I think we might just run inside to the gizmo shop here. Hmm, where is he? Leon! <laughs> and we're in the gizmo shop. The shop will be important later on. All these locations will. They wouldn't show us if they weren't. So, we see the gizmo shop. We see these shadow creatures once again. If you're paying close attention, you'll notice that they are not kidding around here. As I'm attacking one, the other one will try to get me from behind. Of course, doing our best. There are some things here that don't seem to go up or down. Looks like this gizmo shop isn't in full order. Let's keep going back outside of the second district. Would you look at here? Kind of wobbly. Guess I can't climb it now. Giving us a reason on what we can and can't do. So we were where they were. We'll go back in the gizmo shop. And now we'll go through the other way. They seem to be in the hotel. Again, we keep missing them. I do love this, though. So close, yet so far. And in the end, it does matter. Because uh, if we don't figure out what to do or where to go we're just lost nowhere to go lucid shard once again so they went in the hotel still can't access anything here but maybe maybe we can look at this we can't examine it the autumn dusk so we've gone this way but what about going this way we haven't gone this way yet. So, we have another district down here, third district. That seems like it might be important. Want to go ahead and take these creatures out? There we are. Want to get that money. 
And then the music goes to calm again. So district number three. And even here, more of these creatures. And they keep dropping these lucid shards. So as we continue to go on, when I fight, we can see the three districts. And I love this little homage to Lady and the Tramp. Although, did their world go? Are they real? That's something I've always wondered. So, we can see that there's a bit of electricity, lightning here. Seems that it's not flowing properly. A lot of things you gotta really pay attention to, and the more you play, the more you see, the more you'll be familiar with. Now, I did actually ask, what are you guys playing on? And a few of you said that you're trying the keyboard and mouse. And I find that interesting. Again, for me, the controller's where I feel at home. It reminds me of what I used to play with when I was a kid. And that's why I use it. Now, there we are. Another one taken out. Another hole. Looks like it's locked. Currently closed off. Again, when I was a kid, I'm like, just put the key in. What? <laughs> Didn't understand what was actually happening. But I mean, you can't blame me. It's a giant key, and you're telling me we can't get through? <laughs> I know it's just a weapon, it's not necessarily an actual key like that, but you'll see as we keep going. Another symbol. And we keep getting one experience point. They don't give that much. But what they do do is cause for excellent just training and just getting experience as we keep going. We can't go that way. Can't go that way. Seems like there's only one other place you can go. The vacant house. What's in here? Again, I love the juxtaposition of the battle theme to this house. It says box. We can jump. Or maybe we can't. Go back out to the third district. As we go this way. Seems like there's not a lot we can do that way. We keep seeing these creatures, and they keep causing us turmoil. So maybe I should go back to the first district. See what happens in that door. There we are. So if that guy's no longer there, what happens if we go back to the first district? We'll have to see. Oh, but guess what? They weren't here before. They're here now. So as we're exploring, as we're going around, this is kind of how the game wants you to naturally progress. Again, I knew a little bit of that, but still. All the same, you'll see more stuff. Now, I am actually super happy we're getting experience and all this money and stuff. Because it's going to be important. All this experience, don't, don't knock it. Especially considering... We're going to need it for the game ahead, and it is going to be a fun one. But we keep running into these creatures. Is there any way that's safe? Maybe we can go see Huey, Dewey, and Louie? You can see them in the item shop, see if they'll know anything. Hey there, um, what do you want? Um, what am I supposed to ask? Oh yeah, do you want to buy or sell stuff? I'm here, to, let's chat. I usually clean, so I'm not used to dealing with customers. So they're not going to say much, but we just wanted a little bit of safety. Maybe if we can go in the accessory shop. Again, those creatures weren't here before. What does Sid have? Still haven't found him. Keep your chin up. Take another look around town. Let's chat. Still haven't found him. Nah, he's just going to give us the same thing. Yeah, we didn't have those creatures before. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. All right. Then have it your way. Leon, you want to avoid most of his attacks. He attacks for a lot of damage. He has some magic attacks. You can defeat him. It is very difficult. So you want to try to avoid most of his attacks, get attacks in, and then when he attacks, you want to avoid. His attacks do a lot of damage. If you look at our health, we take chunks while we're doing little bits of damage. 
Leon is completely beatable, but if you don't beat him, no sweat. His attacks are pretty much seeking those fire ones. Oh, there is no shame in taking a potion. In fact, if I need to, I will. As I said. Oh, well. That is a good chance to show, though. If you do put in the animation before he can do anything, you will still get the attack. Now, I'm going to try to defeat him, but if I can, I do apologize now. Oof. As you can see, you can do your best to dodge. Leon is giving us a run for our money. Let's keep attacking. Come on. We can take out Leon, I think. Famous last words. He's not easy. That's on purpose. Now, as we keep on battling, there's, like I said, there's no harm in taking those potions, folks. Do not underestimate how important they can be. Yes, we were able to get him. I can lose. Oh, you're slipping, Leon. I went easy on him. Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. Gorsh, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. Actually, I'm not scared. Excuse me, did the king send you? Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. Uh, uh, uh. You okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the Great Ninja Yuffie. Hmm? I think you might have overdone it, Squall. That's Leon. The Keyblade. Yeah, we had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out, that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Well... I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Okay. You know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah? But they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. The Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts, that's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? 
And Sam? He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Gorge! Oh, uh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered! Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find him quick! Red! Trust me, Ninja Key! That's right. The Keyblade. So, this is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute! What happened to my home? My island! Riku! Kairi! You know what? I really don't know. That's a lot for Sora to take in, man. He is the chosen Keyblade warrior. We learned the name of those creatures are the Heartless. I was keeping that for a secret because, well, 1800 in the past, time flies. Some people don't know that, and I want that to be their first introduction if you're following along. We can examine, look like it's locked. So much for our key. Midday jungle. Bald mountain. Night on bald mountain, wow, I'm starting to get that. So yeah, we have met Leon. I never understood the squall thing, if you understand it, please tell me, I'm curious. We also met Yuffie, who looked like Kyrie. I'm pretty sure they chose that on purpose for that effect, but really does make sense. I know they're all from Final Fantasy, although I don't really know their origins. Maybe someday I will. At this point in time, this is my first ever introduction to these characters. As we're learning this, we can see Donald and Goofy are talking to a mysterious person. That's going to be it for this episode. That's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. I'm Andrew Can. Together we can game. Thank you all so much for watching.